physical science, you have to teach about endothermic and exothermic chemical and physical reactions. And you can do it with a heat pack. This device is called a heat pack. It works by giving off heat in an exothermic physical change. When a liquid becomes a solid, it's known as fusion, or in this case, crystallization. Ooh, hot. But how much heat does it give off? You've probably done this lab to measure the number of calories in a peanut. You burn the peanut and it gives a hot flame as the peanut oil melts and burns. The flame heats up 200 grams of water and the temperature goes up by about 15 degrees, showing 3,000 calories in each peanut. Now that is an absurd result until you realize that the food calorie is a thousand times larger than the physics calorie, making it about three kilocalories or food calories being the actual result. So now let's do that experiment with the heat pack. Place one in about 200 grams of water in an insulating container. Start the heat pack by clicking it and measure the temperature as it heats up over five minutes. When I clicked the button, that compressed a portion of the liquid into a tiny crystal seed called a nucleation site. From this seed, the other crystals grow. In the case of snowflakes, the seed is usually a speck of dust, but this pack contains chemically pure sodium acetate, supersaturated in water. So we need to initiate the crystals with pressure. Okay, almost done. When you want to reuse the heat packs, simply boil the heat pack to melt the crystals and let them cool. Results. The 200 grams of water here heated up by 10 degrees Celsius. That means 2,000 calories from the heat pack into the water during this simple experiment. Now, you might say, isn't the heat pack itself also absorbing some of the heat calories? Isn't the sodium acetate inside receiving the heat from the exothermic physical reaction? Well, that's definitely true, and you might want to calculate that in an extension activity using the specific heat of sodium acetate. Maybe good for a high school or a homework assignment. Other fun experiments are to make Matterhorns of sodium acetate or kryptonite crystals by adding food dye. The instructions for this are found in the article linked below. I hope you found this video insightful. Please leave your thoughts in the comment section below. A new video will be posted every month. So if you enjoyed watching this one, subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking this link right here. And check out some of our other cool videos. If you like watching this one, give us a thumbs up. For more information on the products used in this video, click this link right here.